In this uh, video, I'm going to show you one uh, clear explained numerical example for SVM support vector machines. All right. So uh, let's go through some of uh, the theories, do some recap first. Uh, you probably have seen this particular uh, plot or similar to that in your lecture slides or textbook. So we have uh, a hyperplane uh, which can be represented by the vector uh, w dot uh, vector u. Some people use x over here, just use uh, u. And plus b uh, is equal to zero. <clears throat> and for the upper margin, uh, uh, you know, close to the positive samples, it is uh, w dot u plus b is equal to uh, one. And on the other side, uh, symmetrically, uh, the close to the negative samples, it is uh, uh, w dot u plus b uh, equals minus one. And the margin. Um, for this, uh, uh, you know, for this uh, street between this edge to this edge, uh, is uh, uh, denoted as a uh, two divided by uh, the magnitude of uh, vector w. Okay, so if you you are not uh, if you are unsure about uh, uh, this uh, expression for margin, uh, you can leave a comment. I, I will make a separate video of um, uh, you know to show you how to derive uh, this particular expression and. Uh, then uh, for all the positive data points, uh, this uh, w dot u plus b should be greater than or equal to one. Okay, so basically it is referring to this particular region. And uh, for the negative points, uh, the w dot u plus b should be less than or equal to minus one uh, in this uh, specific region. Okay, so yeah, then uh, we use uh, uh, the y i is equal to one. Uh, for the uh, for the positive data points and y i is equal to minus uh, negative one for the negative data points. Okay, so with this, uh, we can find uh, this uh, expression. Uh, so it's always true. This y i uh, times uh, uh, w dot u plus b is always greater than or equal to one for all the data points, regardless it is the positive or negative. And uh, for those points, those data points on the edge, again, uh, as the two uh, black lines uh, shows over here, um, uh, yeah, so it's, this uh, should be the yi uh, times uh, the w uh, dot u plus b should be equal to one, okay, for those data points on the edges. So basically, these points are our support vectors which we are going to use in our uh, calculations later on, all right. Then our objective is to find the plane, the hyperplane that has the maximum margin. Okay, so the margin uh, is equal to two divided by the magnitude of uh, uh, w vector, and it is for maximization. Okay, so <clears throat> which is uh, equivalent to minimize the denominator, which is just the magnitude of uh, this uh, uh, w vector, and uh, this is also equivalent to minimize uh, one half times the, the magnitude uh, of this uh, w vector uh, squared. Okay, the reason we choose uh, uh, one uh, a half over here and uh, a square over here is just for mathematical convenience. All right, then uh, uh, so uh, our problem of uh, finding the maximum margin has been formulated into a single objective optimization problem as follows. So what we want to do is to minimize this um, uh, uh, this expression over here, okay? Uh, uh, based on our derivation from last slide, and uh, this is subject to the constraint. Uh, basically, for all the um, data points on the edges, okay, uh, on the gutter of the street, uh, it should be uh, uh, this expression uh, should be always equal to one. And we move this one to the left of this uh, equal sign. Then we got uh, this uh, uh, this thing minus one is equal to zero for all the support vectors. All right. So now, uh, what method can we use to solve uh, this kind of optimization problem involving equality constraint over here? This is the equality constraint. Uh, Hint is on the right. Okay. So basically, yeah, we are. Uh, this is a portrait for uh, uh, one of a, a very famous mathematician, uh, Joseph Louis uh, Lagrange. Okay, so we are going to use the, the method of uh, Lagrange multipliers, 
and uh, uh, basically this is the formula I would say and uh, L is the Lagrangian uh, F is the optimization uh, function and uh, alpha is the Lagrange mul multiplier and uh, G is just the equality constraint okay yeah so <clears throat> So for our problem, uh, L should be uh, equal to uh, this half uh, times the mag the, um, the this uh, um, magnitude of um, vector W uh, squared minus the uh, sum of alpha i uh, times the y i uh, uh, W uh, vector dot x i vector plus b minus one. Okay. So basically, each i is referring to uh, a sample in our training uh, in our training data set. So now we have uh, this uh, expression uh, by using the uh, method of uh, Lagrange multipliers. Yeah, then we are going to find uh, uh, the partial derivative of L with respect to uh, vector W and uh, uh, then we can find uh, this basically uh, so finding the derivative with respect to a vector is basically the same as a, uh, with respect to a scalar. Yeah, so uh, over here uh, we can get uh, uh, this is a uh, W basically bring this uh, 2 to the front and multiply by this half. Okay, 2 2 got cancelled. Yeah, then yeah, similarly for the, this uh, uh, chunk of expression we find uh, we will check which term uh, is uh, uh, related to uh, W. Okay, so it's only this uh, uh, this thing over here. Yeah. Then, yeah, uh, we can uh, determine this. Uh, we can uh, write down. Uh, uh, this is the summation of alpha i y i uh, times uh, x i uh, vector is equal to zero. And uh, then uh, uh, we move uh, this part. Okay, this term to the right, we can get W uh, the, uh, is equal to, the vector W is equal to summation of alpha i, y i times uh, uh, x i uh, vector. Okay, so this is important. This is important. And then similarly, we, uh, uh, we need to uh, write down the partial derivative of L with respect to B, um, yeah, which is equal to, uh, okay, so yeah, the first term over here does not have uh, any B and uh, uh, the second, uh, the, this particular, this expression over here, uh, we only have uh, this uh, alpha i times y i times b. Okay, yeah. So, and then we can write down. Yeah, this is the uh, after uh, finding the uh, derivative. Yeah, minus summation uh, alpha i y i is equal to zero, and then this uh, uh, alpha i y i sum uh, is equal to zero. Okay, this is uh, also important. I I uh, made it to blue color. Yeah, then <clears throat> yeah with this uh, now we have uh, uh, recall this uh, we have this uh, uh, the median line of the street basically the hyperplane uh, is equal to uh, is uh, represented by uh, w dot u plus b is equal to zero and then we just uh, uh, plug uh, the, we just plug this uh, new expression for w into this uh, expression over here into this uh, expression over here and so we can get uh, this okay and uh, this term dot uh, u plus b is equal to zero and similarly for the two uh, edge lines uh, of the street again this particular street over here um, we can have uh, 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 this uh, this is basically representing uh, w okay this part is w w times the xi uh, oh, sorry w dot ui plus b is equal to 1 if uh, u is a positive support vector and uh, then similarly uh, if uh, u is a negative support vector yeah it's uh, yeah, basically the on the right side over here just change to minus 1 and also do not for, uh, don't forget this uh, expression uh, the summation of uh, r of i y i is equal to 0 this is uh, uh, always true yeah uh, based on our derivation from previous uh, uh, steps okay so now uh, with all these uh, all the uh, theories we have uh, recapped uh, let's look at this uh, numerical example okay uh, so over here you can see uh, uh, we have uh, two positive samples and, uh, and two negative samples okay so basically uh, two classes and um, yeah, then uh, all these things we just uh, uh, derived 
from the previous slide. Yeah, yeah. So now um, we just uh, let this uh, beta i is equal to uh, alpha i times y i. Okay, so just uh, change our variable. It does not uh, change the nature of our problem. And uh, then uh, for the first uh, equation over here, this is when uh, this uh, u is equal to uh, x1 uh, vector. Okay. Yeah. So now basically we are going to uh, uh, basically uh, uh, iterate all these uh, support vectors, all these three support vectors, and uh, then uh, for this case, beta one. Uh, 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 x1 dot x1 and plus beta 2 uh, x2 uh, dot x1 and beta and plus beta beta 3 x3 dot x1 plus b is equal to minus 1 because x1 is a negative support vector okay this is x1 okay yeah then similarly for the uh, the second equation is when uh, u a equals uh, x2 yeah since uh, uh, x2 is uh, a uh, negative support vector, yeah, and uh, over here we can write down beta 1 uh, x1 dot x2 and plus beta 2 x2 dot uh, x2 plus beta uh, 3 x3 dot x2 plus b is equal to minus 1. Okay, why minus 1 again? Uh, this x2 is a negative support vector. Okay, you notice that uh, we only change this part okay uh, for the all these uh, uh, expressions okay yeah so basically these are the uh, we change the u uh, vector the back i mean the, this particular u and uh, uh, for each uh, support vector over here so it's from x1 x2 x3 okay and uh, finally uh, based on this uh, uh, equation we can get uh, beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 is equal to 0 because now we use a beta to represent this part I mean this uh, uh, term okay yeah so yeah so now you can uh, we can count how many unknowns we have uh, beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 and uh, B okay so four unknowns and uh, uh, we have uh, four equations okay so now we can just use a scientific calculator to help us, uh, you know, to calculate the to find the results. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Before we do that, we need to plug in all the numbers. Uh, for example, this uh, x one uh, dot x one uh, basically is uh, we know x one is the is one two. Yeah. So, uh, so for this case, x one dot x one is equal to uh basically one two dot one two yeah the dot product is just uh, one times one plus two times two we can get uh, five okay similarly for this uh, x2 uh, dot x1 this thing uh, is uh, x2 is uh, two one okay so we have a uh, two one dot uh, x1 is one two so it will be two plus two which is five uh, sorry which is four okay and uh, similarly for beta beta three uh, over here uh, uh, this thing is uh, x3 is a uh, four four okay x3 is four four so four four times x1 uh, dot uh, x1 one two yeah it will be four plus eight is uh, 12 okay yeah, that's why we end up with, with all these uh, values all right yeah, similarly, you can uh, calculate all the other uh, dot products and uh, plug in uh, all the numbers uh, into the equations. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, we, now we can key in uh, all these uh, uh, the four uh, linear functions, uh, linear equations uh, into a, a scientific calculator, and we can get beta one is equal to minus zero point zero eight. Beta two is a uh, minus 0 0.08 and beta 3 is 0 0.16 and b value the bias is uh, minus 2.2 okay yeah so with this uh, we can uh, uh, we can calculate we can compute this uh, w okay the weight yeah uh, 
uh, we know the expression for W is basically the summation of uh, uh, the product of alpha i, uh, uh, y i, and x i vector, and uh, uh, alpha i y i uh, is equal to beta i, and uh, then uh, we can uh, uh, write we can plug all these uh, numbers into this uh, expression, and uh, so it's minus zero point zero eight times the first x one, okay, uh, minus zero point zero eight times uh, x2 and plus uh, 0 0.16 uh, times uh, uh, x3 okay so finally we can get uh, the weight is uh, uh, 0 0.4 0 0.4 okay so the median line of the straight uh, that is the hyperplane yeah is uh, uh, this uh, equation uh, w dot u plus b is equal to zero and now we, I just use uh, this u uh, is uh, uh, I just write down as a u1 and u2 okay yeah so basically these are the scalar these are the scalar I combined to be a vector yeah so yeah uh, so 0 0.4 uh, 0 0.4 here dot u1 u2 uh, minus 2.2 .2, okay so u1 u2 you can consider as the x-axis basically the horizontal axis over here u1 and the vertical axis as u2 okay so yeah, so the hyperplane is uh, essentially those uh, u vectors that uh, satisfy this uh, equation over here. And then uh, if you uh, expand uh, this uh, equation, we can get u1 plus u2 is equal to 5.5. Okay, so basically this is referring to this uh, red dotted line. Okay, uh, you can do a quick verification when I, when this uh, uh, u1 is equal to zero. Uh, your the intersection over here is uh, uh, 5.5 when uh, u2 is equal to 0 uh, the intercept uh, over here is also 5.5 okay so similarly for the edge line uh, near the street uh, near the pos uh, near the this uh, positive uh, uh, samples okay so it's a uh, w dot u plus b is equal to 1 yeah so just plug in all those numbers and so we can get u1 plus u2 is equal to 8. Yeah, so similarly for the uh, for this line over here the negative line is uh, u1 plus u2 is equal to uh, 3 okay yeah so yeah, yeah now let's do a quick valid, uh, validation with uh, uh, scikit learn library we know scikit learn library has uh, this uh, uh, this uh, off the shelf uh, svc uh, uh, for us to use okay so yeah i just uh, import um, NumPy and create these uh, uh, two arrays, one for x and one for y. Yeah, basically, all these points over there. And so import the SV, uh, SVC and the kernel as set as a linear, since uh, this can be uh, linearly uh, separable. Yeah, then uh, just uh, fit this x value and y value. Yeah. Now the model has been trained. Then let's look at uh, the support basically the, all those uh, uh, some of the attributes okay uh, the model dot uh, support vectors so basically these three points are the support vectors and uh, then uh, these uh, uh, co coefficients okay so this refer to the width assigned to the features uh, yeah one kernel is uh, linear and you can see it's a 0 0.4 0 0.4 and which is the same as uh, what we calculated in our previous slide over here 0 0.4 0 0.4 okay so the weight yeah then uh, they also provide i mean the uh, sk learn uh, sanky learn library also provide uh, 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 an attribute called uh, uh, dual coefficient uh, of the support vector in decision function multiplied by their target okay so it's basically the beta i value okay is equal to alpha i times y i Yes, and uh, it uh, outputs as uh, minus 0 0.08, minus 0 0.08, and uh, 0 0.16, okay, which is also yeah, the same as uh, what we uh, found uh, in our calculation, okay, in our manual calculation. And also, the intercept, the B value is minus 2.2. You can see our manually calculated B value is also uh, 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 minus 2.2. And then I draw this uh, plot over here. Uh, it's uh, basically just to uh, show you the decision surface when using uh, uh, this linear kernel. You can see this hyperplane is the same as uh, what we obtained uh, in uh, you know uh, by our manual calculation. 